Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Eli's Kingdom. And it's really good to have you guys back. We are now on episode four, and we're standing here in the jewel spawner room that we've been working on for the past few episodes. And yep, yeah, this is the new room that we just built in the very last episode. And of course, we uh, if you haven't seen it, we built this new kind of secret hidden door, which uh, is hidden inside this pillar. If I just shut this behind me so we can check it out from this side. Um, it's looking really good. It's basically hidden on this side. So you can see there's another room in there, but you don't know there's a door here. There's no switches. There's no buttons. There's no levers, no pressure plates, no trip wire. Um, of course, to open it, we have to open this chest, which is basically the secret mechanism to let us in. Um, and uh, from this side, we can open it using this lever. We also built a secret maintenance hatch, which is the middle lever there. Uh, this opens up to give us access to all the redstone for you know the circuitry for the levers we have our sorting system here we have our dropper elevator uh, some more stuff down here so basically any maintenance that we need to do we can uh, go ahead and do that there and then uh, of course we have all the circuitry for the lighting and apparently I've broken one of them already uh, I don't know how but uh yeah, in the uh, between episodes, I actually came in and I installed some additional lighting because we were still getting some mob spawning uh, in these rooms, even with all the lights on. Uh, the main problem being is that we didn't have any lights in this wall because, of course, it's only one block thick um, due to the positioning of the spawners. So I put in a few more lamps. Uh, unfortunately, it seems to be slightly broken. Um, and I think they're still we're still getting spawns. See, there, the spawn was on the right-hand side, so... Uh, I'm not too sure why. I mean, you can see we've got plenty of skeletons coming through with the lights on. We don't seem to have any zombies, so uh, the zombies seem to be fine. Uh, I'm not too sure why the skeletons are not happy. It's maybe, I don't know. Maybe I need to take the lights further down. I'm not too sure. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'll leave that for another time. If we just come back in here, yeah. So we got these uh, secret door done. If I just uh, flick that lever, it should close after a few moments. Um, and I thought this kind of looked like a pillar in the room. So I basically went and replicated this on all four walls. And it looks really nice. It looks like, you know, this room's holding up something pretty heavy. So I think we can probably do something really nice with the ceiling and one thing I did have in mind is while I was placing some decorations in um, I kind of thought maybe we can do something with leaves and I came up with the idea of basically because we're inside a mountain there could theoretically be trees kind of on top of the mountain and over hundreds of years these tree roots could be growing through and they could basically break their way into the roof so I think what we're going to do is we're going to take this thing much higher and we'll have some tree roots kind of creeping in through the through the stone bricks and you know maybe a couple leaves as well where these tree roots have started growing their own little branches and of course we'll decorate it with vines and you know any other blocks we can find and probably put some cool lighting up there as well just so we get some some nice effect coming through and of course i've started building these two alcoves so on this alcove here we're going to have our afk fishing farm and uh, this thing's going to generate quite a lot of loot, so we're going to need some storage space. Uh, that storage space is going to go here, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have um, a bunch of chests on either side. And right in the center, I'm going to have another water elevator uh, because currently our skeletons get channeled down this central alcove and they get taken up to this water elevator over there, which takes them to um, this area for the, you know, the mob drop area. Uh, what I wanted to do is we're going to flick this lever. Uh, it doesn't do anything at the moment, but we'll have to do that in today's episode. And it's going to change the way that these skeletons get uh, get channeled and they're going to be channeled under the floor here. And then I'll have them come up a water elevator in the center so we can actually see them go up they're going to get moved overhead and then dropped right into the center of this room and then of course in the center we're going to have our wolves circled around them and the wolves are going to kill them the xp orb should fly towards us while we're standing here afking with our fish farm so we're going to get xp from fishing we're going to get xp from skeletons all afk so we can just stand here overnight and of course we're going to get a heap of nice loot as well we're going to get mending books we're going to get other enchanted books should get bows fishing rods just all sorts of stuff from the the AFK fishing so it's going to be a really sweet setup when it's done um, I think I'll probably change the floor here as well because it's very flat so um, I want to give this room a bit more dimension so I think because we're having the skeletons drop in the center I'll do some kind of nice uh, you know kind of center pillar or something just just to make it look a bit more substantial um, I wanted to do a little bit of building on camera just to show what I think uh, this thing is going to look like so if I just go grab some hoppers because apparently I didn't bring any um, 
yeah, let's do this on camera so I can uh, show you what it's going to look like. I think what we're going to do is I'm going to have these chests placed like this with uh, hoppers in the side. So basically we can stagger the chests um, off by one block. And the main reason for doing this is because it allows the items to flow from the top all the way to the bottom. So our bottom chest will always fill up first. And this is handy because of course when we get our fishing farm, we're gonna get a lot of good loot, but we're also gonna get a lot of junk that we don't want. So I want a system where I can come over here, I can open the chest, I can pick out all the mending books and anything I want. When I'm finished, I'm gonna flick a lever, which will probably be on this wall. That lever is going to unlock a hopper, which I'm gonna place underneath this chest. And that's going to allow all the items to flow out of this system. And then I'll probably just throw them into a lava stream or a cactus just to destroy them. So this lever should effectively purge our chest. So it's all set up and ready for another AFK session. Um, and I think kind of a, an overnight AFK session, I if I remember correctly, it takes up about four or five double chests. So we should be good with eight double chests. So definitely um, replicate this on both sides. Um, to finish this space, I think we're going to have a pillar here so we can take it in one block again to give a bit more dimension. Uh, I'm actually going to go and use a green stained glass because I thought green would probably tie in with the, the theme we're going to go in with this roof with, you know, having leaves and tree roots in and we've of course got the vines and things. So uh, I think green should look really nice and then we'll have another pillar on this side and then behind I wanted to actually use the lime stain clay just to kind of keep in with the green theme. And of course, when this thing lights up, it should give a bit of a green glow. Um, I think behind it, I'm gonna do another layer of glass because this gives some room so we can have a bit of lighting come through. So if I just do some more of this uh, stain clay behind, and then we can take some glowstone and probably have this place back there. And it should put some lighting through. Of course, we're not going to have the stone there. We'll replace that with stone bricks. But it should give a really nice effect uh, with light coming here. Um, of course, because we want to... I don't want to see these hoppers. They're kind of ugly. So I came up with the idea of using some more leaves. Because leaves are obviously a transparent block. So uh, that should look pretty good. We can still see the hoppers, but it's not as bad. We can still open the chest, which is nice. And of course, the leaves being a transparent block, they do let some light come through as well. So uh, I think this should give a really nice glow. We can see some of the lighting coming on top of these chests. So I think it's going to look really good when this is all closed off. And then hopefully when we have the water elevator in place, that should look pretty good as well. So what I want to do now is I just want to finish the decoration on this room. So I think we're going to do this in a third person time lapse. I want to finish this alcove. I want to do a bit more work on the floor. And then I want to get started on this ceiling and make it look really pretty. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I'll catch you in a little bit.
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse and the bulk of the decoration is complete. And I love the look of this. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Uh, I did have to do a little bit of work off camera. Um, originally, I had way too many leaves around it. It kind of uh, closed off this space. So, you know, the roof didn't have that kind of grand feeling that it does right now. Um, I had to change the lighting as well because I think originally I had three glowstone in the center. Um, I took out the center one because I was obviously building where these skeletons are gonna drop, uh, but it just seemed too bright. You know, there's too much uh, light coming through which seemed a bit unnatural. So what I did instead was I placed some glowstone in the sides, uh, which again was too bright, but I did that trick where you place a half slab um, over part of the glowstone and what it does it seems to block out all of the light but you can still get a little bit of light coming through and it just gives this nice shimmering effect so uh, I'm really happy with the way it looks uh, and of course we finished the storage area as well um, I think this green's gonna look amazing I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's completely finished but I think it's gonna look really good um, and I started working on the AFK fishing farm but I've actually stopped because I realized that I have no idea how far back I need to build this uh, purely because when our skeletons are getting killed, I'm not too sure how far the XP orbs are going to roll along the ground. Uh, I also don't know if I've given myself uh, a headache by putting these steps here because I don't know if XP orbs can uh, make their way up steps and also they may get stuck in this gap. So might need to, I think, yeah, we're going to have to build this part first so we can get the skeletons dropping and, you know, get the wolves killing them or we could probably just kill them with a bone arrow first uh, and check to see just how far the orbs can travel before I build this fishing farm. Um, so I think that's what we're going to do now. What I would like to figure out is how we're going to channel them to get them to obviously move up here. So if I just head down to the circuitry, um, this is the original water channel for the skeleton. So this is where they come through and then they get channeled up this water elevator to our original drop area. Um, I think I, originally I wanted to kind of take them down under here, but I realized this circuit is probably in the way. Um, so what I guess I could do is, I think I could probably do it here actually. So I could, I'll just move out the way before I get shot. Um, I think I might take them down through this block actually so I could have a piston which basically moves this block and it allows the water to naturally flow downwards and then we can have another stream which takes them um, under the floor here over to our um, our new water elevator. Uh, I may also need to close this block there so just in case any of them work their way up to this elevator. So I guess I could put a sticky piston not there. Um, Oh, no, 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 no. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not there either. We've got to get it facing. Uh, nope. It's going to be harder than I think. Uh, we need to get it facing that way. Yep. Yeah. So we can have this off by default. And then I guess this might be a bit tricky to do. We maybe need to block this off for now. Um... I guess this one needs to be on by default. So if I place a piston there, and oh, this guy's gonna give me problems, isn't he? Can I, yes, I can, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, we want this one to be on by default. So I guess we need to place a torch um, here. And this one's gonna be off by default. I think for the circuitry, we obviously need to get it from the lever, which was our, the one on the very right. So that is this one here. Um, I think I originally planned this to go up and over, but I th there's a bit too many circuits in the way. So I guess we're gonna to have to take it underneath. So we could wire this down. I guess we can wire it along here. Although I guess this circuit's probably in the way. Yeah. Um, okay, I can take it kind of behind this wall, kind of along here and then back to here and uh, we can have it hooked up to this circuit and then we'll have this one off by, uh, sorry, on by default. 
Um, and I, yeah, I think that's gonna work. And then we can channel them down here. So we'll just take this down probably two blocks and then start digging along this way. I guess we'll need to take it down one more. Okay, so I'll go and do the rest of this digging off camera. Um, I'm not too sure how far I need to. It probably would have helped if I'd taken the coordinates of uh, where I have to go to. But no, I'll go finish this off camera and uh, report back in a second. Uh, this is why you should never go AFK in your maintenance area. Oh no! I don't know how I'm gonna deal with this. I think I'm just, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't wanna get too close to those creepers because that would be really bad. But I'm not too sure what to do. I think I might just log out and hope that they despawn because I don't want my new area to be destroyed. This is not going to plan. Yeah, I'm just gonna go hide down here. Hopefully they'll go away. Maybe, I wish I could close the door from the inside. I'd need that. I need some kind of door mechanism here for uh, for situations like this. Yeah, I would think I'm gonna go log out. Hopefully that'll fix it. Progress update, and the water elevator has been fully built. Uh, I've taken this up, uh, I think, to Y equals 101, um, and then it should drop down in the center here. Um, I've got them done a trapdoor little cube here, um, which you can do by just placing any block in the center and then putting trapdoors on the sides. It doesn't look the prettiest, but I needed something to contain the skeletons that allowed the, the wolves to attack at the bottom. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep this, because it doesn't look very nice and it doesn't really make any sense physics wise but uh, it should be fine for now so I'll just leave that in. Um, I'm thinking I may need to creeper proof this place as well because we did have a creeper explosion over there not that long ago and no oh, it's not looking very good but I think what we're gonna do now is I want to wire up this circuit because I've got those pistons in place. Um, so if we just come up here we can, I think we're gonna take this one out because we're not gonna do this anymore. We are going to place a torch there. So when this powers, that should turn off this torch. And then we can just take the circuit down by, let's see, two blocks. Um, I've not given myself much room here. I always seem to do this. <laughs> let's do that. Okay, a uh, piece of redstone dust on that. We can take a torch place there. We may need to, yeah, we may need to dig. I can do this on the back actually. Yeah, that's probably better. Let's place it there. Then we can do another block here with redstone dust on the top. Um, we need another block there. And yeah, I think I may have to, I'll tell you what, I can do another torch trick here. So I'll put a torch there, take this down one. Redstone dust there, and is that gonna work? I think that's gonna work. No, that's not gonna work. I need one more block. Dust there, yep, yeah, that's right, okay. Now we just take this circuit down. So we want this to be off by default. So we will need one more torch along here. Just take this as far as we can go. If I take that out, place a block there, take a bit more room and put an inverter there, then that should work fine. So this is all hooked up. This is, this is, okay, that's not right. Why is that done that? If I just uh, power this quickly, there we go. I don't know why I did that. Um, we'll have to keep an eye on that in case that happens again. Uh, but no, this should be off by default. This one should be on by default. And then when this is powered, it should change the circuits. So this gets closed, yep, this gets open, and that should channel the skeletons uh, downwards. Let's see if we have any coming, uh, probably not. But no, this is all dug out now, so there's a water channel that takes them down uh, through the ground. And, oh, I've just missed one. <laughs> Uh, it takes them down through the ground, underneath, and then it should take them up that water elevator. And in fact, if we just head back to our main room, should be able to see it in operation. So just do a quick creeper check. <laughs> if I flick this lever, um, I'll go check to make sure that has all worked. Should do. Yep, that is closed, that is open. So let's just stand back and watch these guys drop down. 
Uh. Oh no. <laughs> I think I might need to redesign this slightly. I forgot that they they rise upwards on water, don't they? Uh. Okay. <laughs> Let's try Plan B. Okay, plan B is in operation, and basically I've just switched up the, the water paths here, so instead of having a piston which uh, allows the mobs to drop downwards, we can now channel them sideways. And I had to take this out a few blocks because we have to wait for the water to completely stop, and it's, it's, I think it's eight blocks for water, which takes it to this block here. So there shouldn't be any water on this block, and they should just naturally get pushed down to our pit. Um, and then same again, these things are wired in opposites. So when this one opens, this one closes and vice versa. So I think I left the lever switched on, so we should have it the other way around. So I just need to place a piece of redstone there. And yep, this is working perfectly. Yep, okay, so they should get channeled um, down to the new pit. If we just head back up to the main room, I better get my sword out because there are creepers everywhere. Um, let's peek out. <laughs> yeah, the creeper before that exploded, it was actually hiding here. So uh, I would, it climbed up the vine and it was basically hiding in the top corner. And I just walked right past it, turned around, saw it up there looking at me, and then it just exploded in my face, which wasn't very good. So if we just come take a look at this, yeah, we can see skeletons going up, which is fantastic. That's exactly what we want. Um, I actually really like the look of this, you know, with the green behind. It's, it's very subtle, but it gives a nice even look. And I like that it's, you know, you've you have the glass behind it as well, so... It's more transparent. There seems to be some light coming through. Um, and then any moment now, they should fall down to this main room. So if everything goes to plan, they should fall into our little space. Yep, that's perfect. I think he's just tracking me because he saw me on the fall down. So let's wait for a few more. Uh, this is looking good. I think, yeah, this is looking perfect. So... Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm not too sure what I could do instead of the trapdoors, but it should be fine for now because it certainly gives room. So if I just kill one or two of these guys, I want to see how far the XP orb should come. So I'll just do that and stand back here. So that's not too bad. I'm not too sure why we're having some stuck in the soul sand. And it does look like they're being trapped by these stairs. So, okay, we may need to put some solid blocks around here. Um, oh, do <laughs> uh, Okay, so I thought that might happen. I wasn't too sure, but I thought that may happen. So apparently they contain a little bit of momentum that allows them to fall on the edges of this trap door. So I'm probably gonna have to change this. Uh, I'm not too sure what I can do. I can maybe put a few more leaves in place to stop them from uh, being able to move sideways. I can probably change the trap doors or I can do something in the center. I'm not too sure, I'll have to play around with it and I'm definitely gonna have to change up this floor. This is gonna have to be a solid block coming over to here and we can actually do that now just to see how this is gonna look. Um, yep, I wanna take out this one as well. So let's see how this is gonna look. I can't actually place that because these guys are in the way. I'll just kill them. Can I do it now? Nope. That's weird that it won't let me. There we go. Let's see how this looks. So yeah, this looks a lot better for XP orbs. So if I just stand back here, that's much better, yeah. It does seem like the soul sand seems to stop XP orbs, so I think we're gonna have to get rid of the soul sand and put something new in place. Uh, we could just leave it as a hopper. We could, I'll probably do the hopper minecart trick actually because I love that trick, it's just fantastic. And I think we're gonna have to have this as solid block, so I'll maybe replicate this on uh, the four sides just to keep all symmetrical. But uh, let me go do some work off camera and I'll report back in a little bit. Okay, so I've had to do a very slight redesign. Now, I've had to add in all these leaves in place to basically block them from moving sideways. It kind of ruins what I had before, which is this really nice open feeling where, you know, you know there's a large room behind, so I'm not the happiest with this design, but I can't think of any other way to stop them from, you know, falling out. I think you need some kind of block in place to stop them from being able to move sideways. If anyone does have any suggestions, please feel free to 
satellite video because it would be nice to do something that doesn't involve this. Uh, but it seems to work. I've moved everything up slightly. I've put um, a half slat there and there's actually a hopper underneath it. So um, the item should get absorbed through that. Uh, but what I want to do now is I just want to um, try shooting a few of them and I want to see how far the XP orbs will travel. So if I just stand right back here and take some of them out. So obviously that is way too far. Um, move forward a bit. This is actually the block I placed initially. So let's try this one. Yeah, this one seems to work, uh, apart from some of them, but I think that might just be because uh, I'm hitting them with a bow. You know, it's kind of causing the orbs to uh, fly backwards. So I should probably do the test with the wolves, actually, just to be extra sure. But this spot here seems to be around about right for collecting most of them anyway. Obviously, we want to collect all of them. We don't want to lose any XP because that would be a waste. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to go hunt down for some wolves and give this a try. So let me go do that now. The wolves have been located, and aren't these guys so cute? <sighs> yeah, unfortunately it's been about a thousand blocks away, so uh, it's going to take quite some time to get back. Um, I did search for about half an hour trying to find this place. I had to cross mountains, water, everything just to get here. Uh, maybe we've got a chicken that wants to come too. Can I give you some bones? Nope. Will not work? No. <laughs> so, oh dear. So, uh, gonna have to head back now, and uh, yeah, this should be a good start. So let's take these guys and try and figure out which way to go back. Come on. Here, boy. Come on. Okay, so that's us with our wolves back here. I, unfortunately, I did lose one on the way, and oh dear. Um, I thought this might happen. We're gonna have to clear out the base first. So come on guys, on you come. Let's see if we can take out these guys. These are horrible to attack, so... Come on, come on. The dog's gonna help us. No. <laughs> yeah, on you go. Good boys. There we go. You help out. Go and take out this Enderman for me. I should probably look at my health more often. Quick, eat something. Eat something. Oh! Oh, that was close. That was too close. Oh! <laughs> Note to self, eat something before you take on Enderman. Um, we may have some more mobs in here. Oh no, we're doing not too bad. Okay. So, I need to breed these guys up, and now we can close the door behind us. Oh, no, 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 come back, come back, come back. No, 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 come back. Where are you going? This way. Come this way. Come on. In here. Come on. This way. Come on. This way. There we go. <laughs> close the door. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. So we have our wolves trapped in here now, so I need to breed these guys up. I don't know what they are doing up there, <laughs> but uh, no, let's hopefully see if this works. Are they going to take out these guys? Or are they just going to be distracted by those skeletons? This may be a problem that I haven't thought about. This could be a huge problem. Um, maybe if there's more of them and I seat them down, then they might not care so much about those ones. I, I think I'm gonna have to do some tests. Let me breed them up first and uh, see what happens. There we go, that's good. That's perfect, go on and kill the rest. There we go, good boy, good boy. <laughs> I think this is working, yeah. Um, I mean, they're a little bit distracted, but yeah, this is looking good. So let me do some more testing and see how this looks. So unfortunately it looks like we can't sit down the wolves to attack the skeletons because they don't seem to do anything when we sit them down. Uh, however, when they're running around they do tend to run to the corners and they get distracted, but they do always seem to come back and they do take out the skeletons in the center. So I think this is going to be fine. Uh, we obviously may have some problems when I open the door, they might chase us out. Uh, 
They seem to be very attached to me. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to AFK for a little while and I'm going to stand in various spots on this ground just so I can figure out the, the most optimum spot to uh, to stand in AFK. Um, the one where I can basically collect all the orbs. And uh, we may it may actually help if we put some blocks behind this to stop these from flying out. You know, I may have to redesign this whole system because it looks really good, but I don't think it's very functional right now. Um, and this is an XP farm, so we kind of want to make sure we get the 100% XP rate. We don't want to lose any orbs because obviously that's uh, going to be a waste. So let me do some AFKing, try and find an optimum spot, and uh, just hopefully this system's going to work completely. After a little bit of testing and AFKing, I've determined that the floor seems to work best when it's completely flat. It doesn't look as nice, but unfortunately this is one of these moments where we have to sacrifice aesthetics for functionality, uh, which is similar, which we had to do with the kind of the leafy ceiling. It doesn't look as nice, uh, but we have to sacrifice that just so we can get it to work. I may come back to this in the next episode and try and fix this because I it did look amazing for a while and this has kind of ruined it. Um, but I've also determined that this block here seems to be the best block to AFK on. So uh, I managed to get probably about 99% of the orbs. There were one or two that hid behind this half slab. Um, I guess I could take out the half slab, but I would have to lower these trapdoors by one full block as well. So uh, I think I'm just going to leave that for now. I'm okay with losing just one one or two orbs. Um, but that means we can now go ahead and build our AFK fishing farm. So the design I'm gonna go with is the design by Panda4994. I hope I got those numbers correct. Um, there'll be a link of his video down in the description. It's a really nice design. Uh, the reason I chose this one is purely because I've built it before and I know that it works in Minecraft 1.9. Um, it definitely works in servers as well. And it is five blocks wide, which is perfect for this space. I know there's one out there that's three blocks. Um, also, the hoppers which collect the items, they feed into the back of the system. So that's kind of perfect for us because we are going to have a collection system at the back which is going to feed our items into hopper minecarts. And the hopper minecarts are going to race around this corner, uh, make their way up here, and then they're going to um, evenly distribute into the two sides of these chests. So it should be really nice when it's all working. But uh, I'm not going to bother doing the fishing farm on camera because the tutorial pretty much takes you through it perfectly. Uh, it's a nice and fast build. So let's go ahead and do this now. And our AFK fishing farm is complete and it seems to be working great. I've just uh, spent a couple minutes doing this fishing and uh, got a couple fish. Don't have any kind of fancy enchanted rods or any books yet. Um, you might have noticed that I'm missing a little section in the front that's actually in the tutorial and that is the section that fires out the fishing rods so that uh, you know when your fishing rod breaks you basically get a brand new one. Um, I decided not to build that because usually fairly fairly early on, that's quite difficult to say, fairly early on, uh, you get a fishing rod that has mending on it. And pretty much once you have that, you don't need this circuit at the front anymore because your fishing rod is good for good for life. And uh, the XP you get from fishing seems to repair the rod. And also we're gonna have XP orbs coming from these guys. And I don't know why some of my walls have turned black. Um, it was a little bit strange. I had to uh, open this, get some items from the chest. I had to go back to my crafting bench um, and there were one 
one or two spiders around, and I don't know if these guys have been poisoned or not, uh, but uh, they seem to be happy, so I'm not too bothered about it. Um, these guys are certainly just coming through and getting completely ignored. The wolves were driving me mad as well. Like, every time I tried to place a repeater, they just, they wouldn't leave me alone, basically. They were just at my feet the whole time, so it took a little bit longer to build this thing, but we got there in the end. And unfortunately, that is all I have time for today, so thank you very much for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed this video, then please do leave a like. If you're enjoying this series or you want to keep up with my latest tutorials, then please do subscribe. I've been Eli. Thank you for watching.